Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. We're gonna get some stuff done today. Let's see. We are just about out of the drought. We've got half a day left. We still have a ton of wheat. Uh, yeah, we're almost at eight thousand. Uh, I don't know if we're going to, I think we're probably going to end up cresting over that 8,000 mark. Yeah, as more and more wheat, yeah, it goes. Um, man, I don't know. Um, our wheat flour is a little bit low. We're only, we're down to 100, but we have 7,000 bread. So yeah, we have like a ton of, ton of bread. I'm not, I was going to say maybe we should invest in a couple more grist mills. But all that's going to do is convert the flour or the wheat into flour, which it's a one to one ratio. So we're not going to lose anything really if we're, you know, switching it over. Um, so that's a good thing, I guess. I mean, we're not going to lose. We're not going to gain. <sighs> There's just so much. Um... We might have to, I don't know, I might reduce the field again, to be honest with you. I'm kind of thinking it's still just a little bit big. And I am thinking maybe... I don't know, part of me says maybe cut out two rows right here. And turn that into more maple so that we can have more resin. But let's see how much. What is that? Is that the maple? Um, whip, move it on me. Yeah, that's the maple right there. So, I mean, we decrease one, increase another. Or I could turn this section into more tree farm. Um, hmm. What to do, what to do. You know, I think... What do I think? I don't even know what I think at this point. I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change two of these rows. So let me go ahead and get those two rows all the way right there. We'll just have those canceled out. And then once they get their stuff going, we'll pull it out and replace them with maple. And we'll put the maple for the syrup so that we can make the pastries. And we'll go from there. I think what we need to do is we need to start growing the population again. I think that's what we need to do. Who do we got here? We've got one unemployed beaver. Yeah, see, we don't even have any, any extra beavers laying around. So having a couple extra probably wouldn't hurt, especially as we're getting ready to add in new... Um, Oh, what's it called? New industry. I, I guess that's what we're going to call it. New industries. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a baby beaver pod right there. I don't want to add in too many because we don't want to like overwhelm ourselves. But we do want just a little bit more. Put one right here as well. Okay, so we're going to increase the babies by two right there. Over here, how many pods do we have? We have like two pods. I think having a couple extra pods over here probably wouldn't hurt anything. Um, Yeah, go ahead and do that, and let's put in 
two pods right there. And then I don't think... I'm not sure if I'm going to need any more pods over here or not. Because we usually have a handful extra that we pull out of here anyway. So I think let's start with the four extra pods. And let's see what kind of growth we get out of it. Uh, before we go too big and too crazy. So we're going to have to slowly expand out. Let's see. Oh, also, uh, I think it was, if I remember correctly, I think it was Andrew had asked if I would put a bell in each one of the districts. Um, I'm not sure if the bells actually help with anything, uh, to be honest, but I don't mind putting one. So we'll go ahead and get a bell out. We're going to put it like right here. And who knows, it might actually serve, you know, more of a function. I mean, I know it alerts, but I don't know if the beavers actually react to that alert. So that's kind of, that's kind of my, I don't know if I'd call it a hesitation, but that's kind of my thought is, you know, does it actually help the beavers or do they just, you know, do they just interact or just, you know, react to it or you know i don't know what they do so anyway regardless of all that let's go ahead and get another bell and we'll put it over here as well we'll turn that right there right next to the baby beaver pods that way they can feel the vibration that way they can be taught when it's time to go to work at an early age before they're even out of the pod you know All right, so far we're looking good. How are we doing on wood? We are at 1,700, so that's a good amount of wood there. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So how is everything running over here? We are at 328 out of 310, so we have enough horsepower here. Now, if I, if I decide to do a new... Uh, A new district. That that's what I'm looking at right now is how would I want to do it if we did a new district and do I want to do it up here? Hmm. I don't know. I've had I've had different uh, different comments about different things to work towards as like a victory goal. Uh, I mean, since we've already beat back the water, everyone kind of knows that you know that part of the game is beat. Um, some people want to see me connect all the, all the water sources together and pump it out. Uh, some others want to see me just blow, you know, blow a hole through the side and drain it. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to do just yet. I kind of like the idea of hooking them all together, but that is so much, uh, so much wood. So, so much wood. It's, yeah, it, it's quite a bit for, for sure. Um, I'm just taking a look at this guy, trying to see how much, how much water are we going to have to pump out? So we're still over a block deep. So that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a minute before we can even access this thing. Okay. So that was kind of off limits. Just kind of looking at the amount of trees we got around. I mean, I've got a lot of trees in this area, but they all need to grow. So, if we have a lot of trees there, let's see, how much do we have here? 720. I could expand this side out. Um... But that's the thing, though, is if we connect them, I want this guy to come over here. I want this guy to come down. I want this one. I'm not even sure what I want this one to do, to be honest with you. Because I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, the more of these we build, the more water we're, the more water we're going to cut off. And we're going to like create like dry parts in the thing. So I'm going to have to build in like... Um, What's it called? Uh, um, 
floodgates in order to pump water like underneath this so that all of that stays green. We would have to build a wall around and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Like I said, I could run this one down, run this one over, and then exit out this side of the map. I could connect them all. Connect them, connecting them all would be a huge undertaking, though. Um, I'm just going to state that right now. That's part of the reason why I said we might need a new district over here if we do that. Because, yeah, we're going to have quite a quite a show of of uh, building because it's going to have to be completely completely self-sufficient we're not going to have any any wood we're not going to have any industry i mean well i mean we could but we'd have to have everything everything delivered so i am curious as to what we should do and all that um, hmm. trying to think and decide here. <sighs> I really don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. All right, well, I guess we can keep moving this one down. And then, do I really want to do that, or do I want to use... I could use scaffolding to do this. But then again, we've already got it built out of levees anyway, so... Alright, well, we're just going to do this just to kind of extend it down a little bit. Let's see, our next... And I don't know if I want to actually use, like, do I really want to fill this in solid? That seems like such a waste of blocks. Um, not 100% sure on that one. You know what? Let's just fill it in for now. Yep, that's like probably... I don't even know how many blocks that is. That's that's probably like some ridiculous amount of blocks right there. Uh, or logs. Let's see. It It is what? 12 logs per... And let's see, that's 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 by 12 by 5, that's 60. Oh yeah, that's like 600, that's well over 600 logs just for this inside piece. Not even counting that. But that's okay though, because we're going to go ahead and extend it on down. We'll gain a little extra we'll put another another uh another wheel in here how are we doing with the grist mills we are at 260 so technically i could add in some more grist mills as well um um um, um how do i want to do this if we do do this are those hmm so what we could do is we just keep expanding that out. So if we did that, we could put in a grist mill right here. We would have to either, I'd either have to bring it back down and then around, or 
how how would I want to do this? Um. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'd want to do this because, like, that's. You know, I don't think it's really going to matter how I do it. It's going to be, we're going to have a ton of platforms, a ton of levees, a ton of everything over here to begin with. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's really going to matter how we do it. But I'm kind of thinking maybe we do another grist mill like this. And then connect it in the back. Yeah, it's like the water wheel got thrown off and we're like one, because if it was one over, I could scoot it over, but yeah. Or I could turn it around like this and then just have that go straight across, but then I could back it up to it as well. You know, why don't we do that? Why don't we just back it up? Then I don't have to build all this other extra stuff. We'll back it up just like that. We will run our path over here just like so. That'll give us another grist mill. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Well, we've got projects set set ahead. They're going to be working on those for, for a minute. Uh, that is for sure. They are most definitely going to be working on that stuff for a minute. Yeah, we'll just let them see, see what it takes. All right. Well, we've got... Did they build the bells? There's a bell there. And did they build this bell? Yes, they did. Okay, so all of our bells are in place. That's good. And we are just kind of expanding out towards that. So, I mean, we've got plenty of... Plenty of, uh, what's it called here? Wood... Um, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a set of builders, I think. Let's see, we've got a set of haulers down here. Yeah, I've only got one set of building beavers. Um, hmm. I wonder if we should... I can't really add them in right there. That's not big enough. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know where to add in a set of building beavers. I mean, I could add them in right here, but... I guess let me do that. Let me see here. Let me go into labor, uh, hauling post, builder's hut. Okay, so it is a 2 by 3 Yeah, we'll just have to build this over here, and then we'll have to prioritize it. prioritize that and then we'll let them get that built it'll take them it'll take them a little bit so but yeah we'll get that done then we'll get an extra four beavers in there that can help build and that should help make the building process over here a little bit faster a little bit quicker overall
All right. Have they started over here? Yes, they have started over here. Good. Yep, get that built. And who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll use this little path right here and that'll be the start of the next district. And we'll just build it off of paths and we'll let, you know, some of the guys from this district, some of them from this district. You know, we'll let them just go out and build and have a little have a little platform out there, you know, type thing. We could use the we could use the big metal platforms. We do have metal blocks. We just don't have a lot of metal blocks. Yeah, we only have 180. Which I think it's 200 per, so Very nice, very nice. All right, so now they are on to this guy. And they just need a handful of logs and planks, and then we will have our builders. And there it is. Let's go ahead and add in that. There we go. So now our district's equipped with four extra builders. So now that should that should take off and we should get it. Well, I say we should get it done in a hurry. We should drain our logs that much faster. We'll see about getting it done in a hurry. So we're at 653 though. So that's not too bad. That's, that's a decent amount. They'll get a good chunk of this built here pretty quick. All right, so how are we doing over here? Have we recovered our logs yet? We are up to 217. Okay, so that's good. So we are starting to move towards stuff. Um, I don't know if it's too early to start building or not, but I kind of feel like we need to keep building over here as well. So... Yep, we'll just keep adding on to that. We'll just keep growing it around. Oops. Don't do that. Not put a block in there. Not yet, anyway. Oh, do we need to be up that high? Only a block above the water here. You know what? I'm not going to make it that high. Well, I don't know. Part of me says yes. Part of me says no. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's remove this top layer right here. That way it's even. 
even with that platform. And we'll we'll see how things go. So who knows? I might end up having to do it. I might not. I'm not 100% sure just yet. But anyway, we'll start working on new new little projects. You know how things go. All right. Well. Oh, our trees. Hold on. I just noticed our trees. Let me get our maples planted. There we go. Now we can go back to the pretty cinematic view. Take a look at all of our beavers doing their thing. Working, building. Yep, so we're expanding this way. We're expanding this way. We're expanding over here. Yeah, we're going to... I don't know. I kind of want to connect all those. I think that's what we're going to end up doing is at least connecting the handful of uh, power sources all together. And then I think I want to run them off the map. So, you know, we want to kind of corral and control at least like four or five of those water sources, which I'm interested to see if we can connect all the canals together and run it, you know, run it out of the... Uh, out of the map how bad would that you know how much drainage would that cause would that cause the rest of the map to start to dry up or because of how much territory we've reclaimed would it just you know keep it flooded have no clue no clue no idea just different things that i'm thinking of but anyway guys i think that is probably about it for today's video I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all. For all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.